Rollmonger's actual play podcast is proud to present Star Wars Second Edition, Dawn of Defiance Campaign, starring GM Jeff Ball as narrator and game master, with the players Matt Witt, Ryan Messina, Aiden Willems, Jay Tamlin, and Frank Hamilton. Round 11, starting with Poser. Poser Sham, in the face of two tech soldier engineers, what do you do? Um... Merrick, you're on deck. Poser. I'm going to swing at the one directly in front of me. Okay. That actually sounded like you were swinging in the background. Call it out. <laughs> Attack of 17 for six damage. All right. Um, wait, can I use a force point to bump up that damage? Um, I think you're allowed to use tack rolls. I don't know if you can bump up damage rolls with a force point. I, I'm not sure. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Uh, attack rolls, not damage. I was just reading it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then yeah, never mind. <laughs> America is all about the force now. Squeeze everything I can. It must survive. <laughs> Sasha must live. Can I give my gun a force point? Um, <gasps> what does Sasha have a force point? <laughs> sure. All right. Um, oh, you know what? These guys aren't stormtroopers. These are the technical engineers. Unfortunately, I'm rapidly going between several several different encounters that are on different pages because we've woken up the dungeon. Oh, wow. All right. Well, at first hit, or first blood, as it were, a solid hit, and poof, up goes his instant health bar. Not uh, not too shabby, you know, for uh, first round, or sorry, first round back, as we were. Moving on. Merrick, it is your turn, sir. And Zin is on deck. I would like to spend a destiny point. Ooh. Go right ahead. To do what? I, to guarantee a critical hit. All right. I'll allow it. Sweetness. So, yes, I wish to just fully unload on this creature in front of me and hopefully poke enough holes into it to make it stop hitting me in the face. That's what every soldier can wish for in battle. Go right in ahead, dream. sir. So that'd be 22 damage. Can we get past the, the uh, did I hit him yet part? Well, the, uh, the destiny point's an automatic hit. You don't even have to roll the attack. It I thought, just gives I thought it, was an auto- it gives you an automatic crit, not necessarily an automatic hit. It, it says critical, no attack roll required. I'm sorry, you're all talking at once, yeah. Jay? No, automatically score critical, no attack roll required. Okay, so sorry. So it's not a maximum damage crit and you do attack roll. It just allows you to do crit damage. Yep. Oh. All right. Yeah, well, I guess Destiny points are very rare. That makes sense. I'm sure I read this a while ago. Right. So, total damage again, sir, if you would. Uh, 22. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you know, it's a good thing he took a scratch from somebody earlier. And down he goes. Don't touch my gun. Woohoo! All right, kid, <clears throat> don't get cocky. <laughs> it's been waiting for that one forever, I'm sure. Zin, you are up. Rahal, you um, are cocky would I next. I still use my move action. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you used it to celebrate. Pretty sure you're um, doing the dishwasher, you know, the roundabout right now. Da, 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 da. Yes, you spend a destiny point for a free crit, stepping over the body and heading into the comm center to back up Rahal. Uh, the door frame, correct. Yeah. Yeah, these walls are pretty thick. So you actually stand in, uh, it's like you're standing inside the wall for good cover. It's actually a one of the best features about this place, as far as offense or defense goes. All right. Uh, anything else, sir? No. No swift action. You know, they, they, these player turns are kind of a trifecta, if you will. Uh... Uh, swift. Hmm. Roll. Get to cover. Hide behind second that body. Second wind. Second wind. <laughs> Wait, second wind's uh, swift? Yeah. As long as you drop below half. Yeah. Oh, half. Or two half, half, I guess. I'm not yeah. below half. Yeah. Oh, sorry. He was That's just getting half. excited because of the threshold damage, yeah. He was oh, yeah, that, that, that hurt. But... <laughs> he's, he's worried about I you. I mean, you could, like, you could start spending your, like, a swift to remove the condition thing. So, oh, like, spend one swift, swift now and then one swift next round, it'd be gone. Oh, that's a good idea. Ah, so yes, uh, I, so, I'll do that. someone's catching on to the DMs hinting about it. You know, is there, are you sure you want to waste that trifecta action? That's right. All right. Zin, you are up, sir. Rahal, you are on deck. Zin, what do you do? All right, so the doors are sliding closed now, or they are completely closed now? You wailed on that button. Yep. And at the moment, there's, you know, no response. Because um, 
doors and things like that they don't get their own initiative so they kind of like they recycle back to a player's kind of like firing up a spell you know make your saving throw on you yeah. as it were that slow motion in time you're in battle mode you know adrenaline's pumping six seconds come on come on they're right in front of you you know what do you do all right then uh as the doors kind of hesitate just a minute i'm gonna lift up the barrel of the widow maker there and i'm gonna catch this dude right in the chest quick scope going yeah. for the special trooper with the dark helmet yeah uh 18 to hit 16 points of damage oh very nice I'm pretty sure uh, the Imperial Gunner, as he's been come to be known, does have a very decent reflex, def- very decent reflex, but not good enough, and suffers 16 points. You say? Yes, ah, sir. That would more than do in an average stormtrooper, but alas, I am not an average stormtrooper. However, recoiling from the shot, you know, helmet snapping back. He does take a serious amount of damage, as indicated by suddenly, you know, the health bear appearing above his head. No, no one wants to see that. Oh, no. Anything else in? Uh, Let's see. So dropping flat is a move action. So I think I'll Uh, do that next. Swift. Or swift action. Excuse me. Yep. Yep. So I'll hit the I'll hit the dirt anticipating a hail of gunfire. Brawl. (laughs) Um, Okay, so I'm. Uh, this dude that I killed here was he sitting in a chair? Yes, he was. Like, could I get be- could I get behind him to use him as cover? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna get behind him to use him as cover. <laughs> as long as you, I'll take shoot a him knee. again. As long as you take Body a knee, shield. You're good. yeah, yeah, I'll take a knee, absolutely, and I will pop a shot into. Um, nope, not that just, guy. Just don't roll that him guy. around. That's disrespectful. I mean, imagine a guy just kind of sitting, arms dangling straight over the, the armatures, you know, head down, bowed, as he slumped back in his chair from the dead shot. And then... Rahal That's starts, perfect starts, cover starts for coast, a little guy like me. Starts coastering him around the room for, like, solid cover. We can know Bernie's. Lift his arms up into a salute. <laughs> 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 okay, and I'll take I'll, I'll take a shot at this guy right there. The dude in black, I guess. Their, their leader. Is that he's their leader? Oh. Well, he's he's calling out orders, so possibly. My assumption is that I will shoot him, and let's hope it works. Come on, an attack of ten. Attack of ten against Lieutenant Aiden. Now, last week Aiden called me out on this, saying I was just messing with him. I I shit you not, gentlemen. This guy is the only other named. There's like only three of them in this whole place. Lieutenant Aiden has a name, and bad guys that have names tend to have you know force points, destiny points, actual reflex. actual levels. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! My reflex sucks. I'm a paper pusher. My reflex is absolutely shameful. So is it, is it call ten? It, no, it's better than ten. Don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> so close. But uh, <laughs> even, flat, even flat-footed, it's still like eleven. Sorry, I mean, Damn. what what what's a um, what's a, point. I mean, what's oh, yeah. a player I can spend to a do? Force point. Oh, a force can point! I you say how oh, wonderful! Yes, that's right. You guys gotta get, start coaching each other because I'm done with that. <clears throat> hey, add, add four <laughs> to my attack, being a total of fourteen. Yes, a hit, sir. Sweet. Believe in Woo-hoo. the luck. Believe in the luck. There you go. For damage of 14. Oh, well, Lieutenant Aiden is suddenly having a very bad day, sir. Now, unfortunately for you, okay, his day has not ended. (laughs) But it's certainly gotten much worse than it was at the beginning of this combat. So a total of 14 points damage. Excellent. And you can tell by what's left of my health bar. (laughs) Oh yeah! Woo! Sort of a video game esque, you know. Not really supposed to show. Bring the pain. I'm I'm starting to not feel like I'm gonna die today. Well, I'm only showing. God you- damn it, Matt! You just jinxed it. I I have the option not <laughs> to show you the health ball at bars just for myself, you know, and to to portray it. But since I was so mean last game, and this might be the last thing you see is somebody else's health bar before your own your own plummets, <laughs> you know. All right, it's time, Rahal. Any other actions? Anything at all? Um, you move to cover. You take a knee as a free action. You shoot the guy. Yep, you make his yep, knee crappy. I, so I'd have a swift left, possibly, a- um, or a destiny point if you have one. Oh, I do have a destiny point, but I'm not ready to drop that quite yet. Yeah, you're still on the first level of this compound, you know. There's there were those. Yeah. So yeah, no, I think I'm good. I think okay. I'm good. Okay, you're doing your job. You know, look how far you've come. Do you guys remember the first fight? He's just out in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> you know, <laughs> tries to use Merrick for cover and can't even keep up with him and 
first roll was a one ever in a player combat and almost died. <laughs> Pulled a dusty yep. point in the first round of the first <laughs> game of, yeah. And here he is, sliding into rooms, you know, taking a knee, twirling around the bad guy, shooting up on I his armpit. I actually killed a dude. Yeah. Shooting on the armpit. And look at Dr. Leth, you know, no slouch there. Other noble stunning guys in the swamp, and now he's, like, shooting people's heads off at point blank as they loom over him. Of course, Frankenstein monsters just seem to be your bag. You know, this guy didn't scare you at all, did he, really? True story. True story. Yeah. Okay. Time for the bad guys. Okay. Let's start. Can I use a destiny point to act out of turn? Uh, yes. Yes, you can, I believe. Sure mm-hmm. can, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, and resume shooting the people in front of me. All right. Well, that kind of ruins my day. Now, does that permanently set your initiative up to that point, or is it just a one-time Yes, it off? does. That's what I figured. Well, fine. Be that way. Spoil my fun. All right, Dr. Life, you now go right before the bad guys. What do you wish to do? I wish to fire on the same tr- stormtrooper I fired on the first time. All right. Uh, you missed last time. Was that not correct? I did. Sure did. Uh, and I believe I'm going to miss again. Okay. Now, the big question is, can you spend a destiny point and a force point in the same round on the same turn? I don't think Yes, you I can. can. You can. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Destiny mm. points don't cost an action to uh, spend. Destiny points are um, like the magic that the force is like, wow, that's no, magic. No, I understand that, you but he's, he's doing two. He's spending multiple ones, right? He's spending multiple mm-hmm. force types of force points in the same round. That's my concern. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not spending multiple types of force points. You yeah, you just, can't you, do force points just, twice you, in the same round. You suddenly, the destiny point. You suddenly it. made it your turn by spending a, a destiny point. That's a type of force right. point. Yes. And now you're wondering. No, it's spend not. A, hmm? They're totally. They're totally separate. Destinies are it's, destinies. Force is the force. It's not. A, it's not an action to spend a destiny point. It's a free action to spend a force point. Oh, very well. For the sake of linguistics, I'll allow it. So, what do you want to do now? Eight does not hit. Hmm. Question. I, this is a DM question, and so I don't have to look it up. Um, do you have to declare your force points before you roll? It doesn't say that you do. No, oh, yeah, there could be a post savior. Okay. These might be the little intricacies that make this game, you know, not so brutal on the players. Because when we first looked at them, we're like, oh, that's so brutal. Zero death, you know. All right. Eight. The bolt goes towards the stormtrooper, and you see the stormtrooper kind of shift to one side in slow motion and. The relation of fingertips over the football. It's not going to catch unless I have a you know another two three tip. What do you want to do? Um. Well, uh, this guy here, he doesn't uh, from like the, his weapon. You said we knew what type of weapon it was. It's nasty. It's like this plasma shotgun scatter bursting nightmare. Especially if he's adjacent to you, <gasps> which he is. Okay. So then, um, by the sounds of it, I don't think he can shoot me if I move. So I'm going to kind of crawl backwards. Oh, he can. It's just much deadlier up close. So He has a carbine? Can I have a knowledge tech? Um, sure. You, you said you said actually like what type of gun it. it was earlier. Yes, I did. But since we don't remember, <laughs> I'm asking for a free tech roll in the heat of the moment. Also, I told 13. I told somebody that experienced the war. One of our soldiers knew what it was. Zin. I didn't specifically say ah. everybody knows what it was. 13. It is a blast cannon. And this thing is nasty. Okay. It um, it does 3d8 damage, but it does 4d8 against an adjacent target, and the range penalties apply on damage instead of on the attack roll. So it's kind of like, a, you know what I mean? Like, the further you are away, uh, it's still going to hit you, but the range penalties, negative 2, negative 4, actually go on to the damage you suffer because the dispersal of the cannon. Hmm. Kinda it's neat. a shotgun. Yeah, it's ba- like basically, I was worried he was going to shoot me for crawling backwards. Oh. Like from a provoke? Yeah, I was worried I was provoking by crawling um, away. No, because it's a melee action. Like I said, only pistols, only light pistols provoke attacks of opportunity, not big guns. Mm-hmm. So uh, pistols you... and carbines both both allow you uh, to just attack. No, attack this, is, this is a blast cannon, so no, you're yeah. good. Okay, okay. So you shot the stormtrooper, and you're happy. Tried. with You're happy with the miss, and now you can take a step back as a move because there are no five foot steps. And now what? Anything else? Uh, that is all of my actions for this round. Okay. Very well, sir. Now, can the bad guys go, please? Everyone's done jerking around their destiny and everything. So these poor... I mean, these guys are paid schmoes, you know. They need to try and get their job. Let's start at the top of the order. Let's start at the top of the map with Lieutenant Aiden. The named guy gets to go. Woohoo! And named people tend to have talents. You know, they can rally. They can do all kinds of stuff. And I am no exception. 
going to use my... He acts like a born leader. He calls out, activating his born leader talent. And actually kind of leans in on the shot. Like, this guy seems pretty aggressive. Now, you guys had to go up against the born leader talent in um, in the cargo bay. Do you guys remember what it does? Doesn't it uh, give them all it, a plus one to a hit attack or something like that? Yes, it, it sort of bolsters. It's kind of like an aid another to all my allies kind of thing. It's a leadership trait. Yes. It's like a bard song. For soldiers. It's, it's actually in your tree, uh, <laughs> Raw. <laughs> it's, it's not necessarily a soldier thing. It's uh, for nobles. It's for nobles. It's a noble talent. No remember. But yeah, it, it's you know he he's bolstering. He's bolstering. Frank. Yes, sir. Plus one and say bolstering. Wondering, um... Please say I always loved you. Please say I've always loved you. You're side by side in the elevator and just turn to him. <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, I was too soon. If, um, <laughs> too soon. I was wondering if you, were th- if you could possibly go as well, because if um, like I have a feeling this, these elevator doors aren't going to close until after they've taken their shot. And even though we're prone and have a higher AC for the people that are shooting their auto fire. So they, we'll still they, take they, they, they will close on Zin's turn, as I stated earlier. Ryan, you're kind of quiet on the mic there. Better. Better. Jeff. Yeah. I hate to rain on your parade, but oh. at the same time, I love to rain on your parade. I can hear you grinning. I can hear it through the microphone. So just oh, good. I, I'm glad you can hear it. <laughs> you can hear his one. grin. <laughs> it is a plus one insight bonus on attack rolls, and it is all allies within line of sight. Now let's take a look at Lieutenant Aiden. Oh, huh. oh. there isn't much line of sight there. Now, is it a standard action or is it a move action? Swift. It's a swift action. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I thought I had to just stand there and like bark orders. But since I don't, since it's only a swift action, what I'll do is, lucky for Rahal, unlucky for you, I will move one, two, three, four, five, six squares and stack up behind my guys and order them to foobar you. And now I can see them and I can see you. And that's a, that's my move action, a swift action. I activate my born leader, lean by example, brace my pistol on the guy's shoulder in front of me and shoot Poser in the face. Thank you for speaking up. I, I feel so much better I'm doing this legally now. I would have felt bad. <laughs> I would, have felt, would have felt bad if I just, you know, stood there Vengeance and I, I could, could, have, could have shot. No, it's just, you know, got to adapt to using the rules and the tactics here. So, um, yeah, I, I hear something. I can hear something come through the microphone. I think somebody stopped grinning at me. Where are we here? Oh, no, Jeff. I'm still grinning. <laughs> oh, not, not yet. Not yet. Um, Yes, it's nice how you just arranged all those bad guys into a cone in front of the Jedi. Yes. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Damn, should I, I should have stood up. I should have <laughs> stayed back and stood up on the... As he gets up on top of I should have stood him on a chair. But no, no. I got cocky. He is where he is. And he shoots at... Um, oh, thank you, Mr. 18, natural 18. Because <laughs> this bonus yeah. suck. 20 to shoot you, sir. 20. What is your reflex? Okay. Do uh, I... It isn't 20. It isn't that good. Okay. Well, don't feel bad. It's it's only a standard blaster pistol, you know, standard issue. Oh, that's fine. Still 3d6. I mean, I could just kill any low-level player. Seven points of damage to Mr. Poser. To Mr. 37 health. Oh, no. Yeah, I keep forgetting that, like, we're used to games where the magic guy has, like, low hit points. But the Jedis are beasts. They're freaking tanks. Well, because we're supposed to be up front most of the time. Yeah. So... Swinging your glowing phallus around. Okay. So I've dinged your little health bar there for you. And that is Lieutenant Aiden. Now, getting back to Zinn. I'm, you know, mid with the bad guys here. Did you want to take... I'll be nice. It's once, because... But only because Frank is owed some niceness. He hasn't been in all the games and all the sessions. He hasn't got all the coaching. And he is the, one of the newest to the rule set. So did you want to take your... What were you saying, Jay? Advice? My my destiny point, you mean? Yeah, to act. Uh, yeah, although you also you just said that it would close at the end of his turn. He's already went the following round. It is the following round. He pressed it. It is the following round. round. Yeah, yeah, and I haven't got down to Zin yet. Yeah, you I did. just He's went at the top. Oh, oh, right. I'm sorry. Yes, and you Indeed. fall. Pr- you fall prone, and then the doors close. Bing. Okay, Bing. in that case, I probably wouldn't have been able to shoot because it would have closed before I got to. Do I have my destiny point back then? Hmm. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's that's right. I think I'll just jam the doors. For some reason, somebody you know that has control of them has kept them open. And remember, I said they were hesitant. They're hesitant to horse. So Zin went. They began to close. You jumped your turn to the bad guys, and we're mid bad guy turn, and they're closing now amongst the bad guy turn. Which actually makes sense because it would take a second or two for them to close. Yeah. That's dynamic shutting then. Yeah. Well, the, 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 prob- the problem is, though, as I can see Jay's point, is if the tr- stormtroopers in front of him get a shot away, because they just they got here and um, I left it and then I went through everybody and it was down, we were like halfway through the turn and we went to Askalath and I'd left it on their turn and Asko left went and then we're back up and we're just coming around to them shooting and Zin got in there, gets the door going. So... No, I'm I'm gonna say you're good. The door is closed. Now, in the heat of battle, what's to say that you know you're not you don't know when they're gonna close. You got a gun out in the guy's face and they close. Bing. You know what I mean? That's probably what buggered your shot. Well, it certainly explains the miss. Yeah. Yeah, and and you didn't shoot anybody else, and to avoid, you know, you could still. So you're telling me I shot a door because by spending my destiny point. Well, it's better than shooting the wall behind the guy. I think. You shot through the door. <laughs> well, I didn't make it your turn. I was. Uh, oh, I see. If I if I if the doors were doors were closed, you would not have spent a destiny point to jump your turn. Exactly. Blah blah blah. Well, that would depend on where you placed yourself. How close to Zin's turn passing did you place yourself? Zin, Rahal, uh, you. So yes, we'll retcon your destiny point. Woohoo! And the doors are closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the stormtroopers just stare helplessly at the closed doors. No, they push the button and jam, you know, get it. To go. You, you, ever, you ever wail on a button when the elevator's still there <laughs> on the outside? Sometimes it reopens immediately. Who knows? Of course, you have everyone spending their turn on leaning forward and pushing the button. It's a great idea. Well, ding, you know, they close, <laughs> he goes to do his thing and they all close and, and there's left going, phew. You know, that's the up. And then all of a sudden, now it's the bad guy's turn, and you, and you hear ding, and they slowly start opening, and you guys are like, shit. As the elevator doors kind oh. of shut, and I'm laying on the floor, you know, and rifle you just have barely. To move, uh, <laughs> back to his position in the turn order. Yes. Somebody's not been listening to his own episodes. R- oh. Rifle just kind of sticking out there, and I look up at Dr. Leth. <laughs> you know, we really need to stop meeting like this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this, unfortunately, this... You know, uh, fairness, the angle does you justice. Grabbing, <laughs> grabbing his knees? <laughs> bent over? No, he's a sniper. He's prone with... <laughs> oh, right. Oh, that's right. You guys are both lying on the We're floor together. We're going to die. <laughs> right. Awkward. Well, it is now because Zin technically is on the ground looking up at Leth, who ritconned his entire turn. <laughs> so he's looking up I at Leth saying this. the dropping prone. Well, you moved your guy back into position, so I'm assuming you wanted everything back. Yeah, as in I didn't Throwing spend the test point, point, so I was... Yeah. So we have to drop you back down in initiative work, too. Yes. 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 Oh, what a pain. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, yay, good. You're still... At... <laughs> I didn't change the number. I just changed your position in the order, so it's like, right, okay. Leth was ending... It's going to end the turn coming up. Okay. So, the bad guys. As I was saying, Lieutenant Aiden, learning the rules scooting around the back of the console, standing behind his guys, and shot Poser. Point blank. Boom. Unfortunate. Next bad guy are the two guys right in front of Poser. And they both provoke a tactic opportunity by shooting at you. Because one... No, they don't. Why not? He's got a melee weapon. Don't provoke by attacking with... Um, you don't provoke by attacking with a rifle. Or with a pistol. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And yet, you can provoke somebody with a pistol if they swing at you. Or, I mean, if they um, if they shoot or whatever. We're... No. Um... Like, shooting doesn't provoke. Reloading does. Uh, right. So, wonderful. Two shots. <sighs> now, now he said get them, plural. Okay, so this guy here is actually going to lean out on the corner and shoot at Rawl. Because Lieutenant Aiden is literally saying, shoot them, and pointing at both of you guys. So you're only going to get one shot each. So there's a little something. Okay. Well, the reason why I moved right in front of him is because I thought shooting a pistol did provoke from our <laughs> previous combats. So I was like, okay, at least I'll get one attack of opportunity while getting my face shot off anyway. So... Uh, ruining all my dreams, Jay. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so you should con- you should contact the rules lawyer before you make these decisions, Aiden. Yes, true story. Now true I don't story. feel so bad. <laughs> Not only GM is like read the rules like a while ago, and <laughs> hey, I'm trying to hold down multiple anyway, podcasts just, here. Just shoot me already, Jeff, and just bring it. the pain. No, no, ready. We're, we're gonna shoot Rahal first. He gets to go first. He's our fearless leader. <laughs> Always shoot Rahal first. <laughs> Spend the good roll on Rahal. 
All right. The bad guys. The pistol of the people. One for Rahal. 22 and one. Ouch. <laughs> now, one for... did, did he take aim, or how much of that does my cover negate? I did say take aim. It leans out. And, okay. Oh, did I say shoots at Rahal? I'm sorry. This, that, was the, that was my intent in saying, like, how he's leaning around the corner. He's, you know. Sure. Because I can just see you easily. Um, yeah, so. It's a reflex of 13, so that's a hit. Okay. So taking aim at you carefully. And for Poser, I only got a 12. A reflex of 13. Oh, I so. only got a 12. I aim. Yeah, it, the Lieutenant Aiden, like, jacking my shoulder just totally throws him off, and you only got one sobble from Aiden, not the second guy. However, Rahal, get that recording ready, because 3D6 of terrible monsterness is coming your way. Ten points, Rahal. I am still alive, but that's totally my threshold, so I'm going to move down the condition track. All right. Uh, now, you were at full, were you not? You haven't taken any hits this battle? Yeah, I had not been damaged. Okay. So yeah. I am... I am. Oh, well, that's not That's not my threshold. Ha-ha! How many, Woohoo! How many points do you have? 22? 22 hit points. Right. And you just took 10. So. All right. Get the exciting. Um, the... So exciting. The big guy is dead. The stormtrooper right here in the hallway is going to move up to a position here where he can get a lead on, on Merrick. So he moves up four or five squares and shoots at Merrick in, I'm sorry, shoots at Merrick in the doorway, brings himself perpendicular. So Merrick does not have cover. Um, now, technically, hmm, I'm just wondering if you actually still do have cover. I'm straight on you. Yeah, so there's nothing really to breach. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so uh, one of the random stormtroopers clears a shot coming. Larry? <laughs> Guy doffs his helmet. Merrick? Where have you been? Well, I joined the winning side, obviously. What are you doing here? I'm doing a job. What's it look like? It's, imagine Stormtrooper just doffs his helmet, and he's got the thumb in the cusp of the underside of the helmet, waving it, doing the shrug with one arm, and the pistol, the rifle goes out. So both arms are, like, splayed outwards, and he's shrugging, holding them up, you know, joisting them up, going, what are they doing? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> So we just start talking about, you know, the, the war and the good times and you know how it's kind of ironic we both um, ended our turn on the wrong sides and, you know, I'm still going to shoot you. You know, I'll just <laughs> talk to you yeah, for what, swift what? action and, hey. You pull the Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I totally give him points for that. I was, you guys thought I was going to let it stick, didn't you? <laughs> it's just like, well, that's original thinking. <laughs> just, you know, it's it's okay. I told your mother you were dying. Props for recognizing Larry through his stormtrooper armor, which makes them all look the same, right? Because <laughs> you wear a swagger. You can tell. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen the way Larry walks, Larry walks different. <laughs> Pull up the uh, the stormtrooper that's coming into the hallway, and there's the other three troopers, and this troop troopers in like bright neon pink armor with chains and a ghetto blaster. And... <laughs> Have you seen that pic? It's awesome. Mr. Swagger. Nine. Oh, I still got to shoot you. And he just kind of like shoots at the door. Looking over his shoulder, see his boss is noticing him. You know, he totally tanks the shot because he, he really wants to know what you've been up to. You know, or just kinda, <laughs> he just kind of like shoots wide. You know, oh, right. Doing my job. Oh, I shot at you. You know, put the helmet back on. So that's Larry. Um, and uh, so we have the two, the troopers and stuff outside. No one can see them. So no one knows what we're doing, you know. Now, as memory serves, to close the door, we push the button on their turn, and we have to go all the way around to another turn before it opened. So, no, no doors are suddenly going to magically jam and reopen, even if we're wailing on the button. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's going to be on our well, next next turn <laughs> that um, that these guys... It's okay. We just start wailing on the door close button, like the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Works right. for them. Um, <laughs> just hit the emergency stop. <laughs> the emergency. I mean, if I had the time, I could hack the lift. No, yeah, you can do that on your turn. Start hacking if you wish. Mm -hmm. Right now, though, you guys are splitting the party, and that's that's always very helpful to me. Anyway, okay. Yeah. Um, the rest of the <laughs> uh, employees of the Imperial Prison, uh, you don't get to know what they do because you can't see what they're doing. But I'm logging in my head, data, 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 what they all have done. Right. Next, we have the droid who's doing his thing. We have the dead Frankenstein guy. He's done and bringing us around to Dr. Left's proper turn where that destiny point was all up in his head. You know, these open, I could totally do this. And, nah, I'd probably miss. And he was right. 
So, Leth, what are you doing? <laughs> Gun in hand, looking down at Zin, who's saying, you know, stop meeting like this. What do you do? Um, yeah, I guess I go and try to, like, look at the panel and see if I can get it to either stop or move upstairs and, or that kind of thing. Okay. Make sure the elevator does what I want it to do. So would that be a mechanics or a used computer? Um, are you trying to, like, rip off a panel and just make sure the damn doors don't open and the only option it has in its circuit board is to move the elevator itself? Or are you just using technology and wailing on a button to, to get to that second floor before it registers that it should reopen these doors? So it will really be your choice. The high-tech uh, or low-tech probably, solution? Probably the latter, because I can't imagine I'd have enough time to, like, rip in. and. Well, there's also the, the high-tech solution of, like, accessing the maintenance panel and plugging in with a proper, you know, private computer. And yeah, that, I coding, would do that. But by the time you got all everything out and hooked up, you know, this isn't, like, hiding behind the secret... Impossible yeah. mission door. So, so yeah, the the second option you listed probably like try to co- like get a combination of the buttons to make sure that we go upstairs. A combination of the use the little kid <laughs> yeah. in the elevator just lights them all to, up. Like <laughs> use a cheat code. It's yeah. fine. Just, just lights up every button. <laughs> well, there's there's, there's yeah. only three because <laughs> there's only two levels on here. There's no basement. There's like you know G for ground, two for second level, and a stop button. And that's it. You push all the buttons. Okay. Anything else? Program you incremental levels for the elevator to stop at 2.1, <laughs> 2, 2.3. Uh, then I guess my last action would be, if I can, uh, ready in action to like fire if those uh, if those doors open and I see stormtroopers outside them. Yep. Ready to, to just as soon as those suckers open on Zin's turn, right? You get to ready in action, and that will actually bring you up to his turn. So there's something. Round twelve. Poser, Mr. Sham. Sham the man. What you got for us, buddy? Zooming in on Do it, Poser. Do it. <laughs> so the worst thing is I don't actually have any cone attacks. Like even um <laughs> even with Jeff allowing uh dark side attacks, it's like there's there's no cone. Oh, it's stuff. not me. Really? No, it's a forced unleashed it's a forced unleashed book power and, and since the NPCs dipped into the forced unleashed book, which I thought was off limits for this campaign, I opened the book up to Poser, and there it is. You know, a player can immediately call upon the dark side and activate any dark side descriptor power that he doesn't even have in his suite doesn't even know it just calls upon the force by spending a single easy forps point done dark side's your daddy easy yes uh, trust me i I do understand jeff um the torture is yeah no uh, the long game is the torture where now he spent weeks looking through every book and and noting every dark side power (laughs) okay the thing is it doesn't just open powers it also opens up all dark side force talents like all the talent trees as well Really? As long as I meet the requirements, yeah. I was reading in the Force Unleashed book today. Okay. Um, but I, I, yeah, no, there's no cone attacks and all the dark side stuff that I've seen at least. How, how, just out of curiosity, what is your current Force Point count? Uh, my current Force Force Point count is five. Okay. Now you and get I have two you, you, you get five plus half your level, and they reset every level. Yeah, I've already used one. Yeah. Okay. And right now, as a swift action, I plan on using another. Okay. So. What are you going to do? Uh, going to use Inspire. Okay. May I add, Mr. Low Profile, Brawl Hall can see nothing but the side of you and guys peeking around a corner. If you were, you know, if you wanted to, like, show somebody w- what you're capable of, like, Brawl, you're getting a full view of this. Great. A show just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know what you're, you know, what you're, this is, he's exposing him. So like Zin's been suspicious, but he's the only other player that's, you know, even on to Zin. And they had that lovely chat uh, in episode 14 on the couch. Um, and Zin kind of drops some hints. It's like, you know, hey, you know, just keep it cool. I'm cool if you're cool. But I was now, just kind of, hmm? go ahead. I was just kind of curious. Where was this rule? Sorry. I, um, force, it's uh, the Force Unleashed book. Um, give me a sec to find it. Uh, page 84 or uh, 85, Temptation of the Dark Side. Oh, As okay. a free Sorry. action, any character <laughs> who has the force sensitivity feat can spend a force point to add any one force power that is the dark side descriptor to his or her active force power suite. Or you can use it for a talent if you... Um, if you meet the prereqs for it. Um, wait, quick question first. Is Merrick within my line of sight? Technically, yes. Okay. He's, sque- he's squeezing a doorway, and you can sort of 
take a corner of your square and draw it to a corner of his. Yeah. So you can, and you can see a shoulder. And they're both within uh, six squares, right? Yes. Now, Merrick isn't paying attention to you, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just has to be within six squares and in my line of sight. Okay. Um, And this role really doesn't matter since... Um, so what are you doing with your force point? So I'm using the force power Inspire, which can give uh, my allies uh, various force bonus to will defense against mind affecting and fear effects. But the special <laughs> is... <laughs> Sorry. The special is if I spend a force point... I can grant each target 2d6 bonus health. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute a second. So you're spending a force point to get the power? No, I, I'm you using have... the... I have the power in my suite. Yeah, right. I'm just, we, we never really got into no what powers you have. There's no reason to use it without the force point. Right. At gotcha. the moment. I got you. So. Okay. So instead of going all dark side, he's keeping his shit together. Sorry, I thought you were spending a, dark, a point to get like something dark side and the dark side awesome powers. Hey, guys, help me. <laughs> inspire you to help me. <laughs> but no, he's no, he's keeping it clean. You know, he's he's juicing one of his own powers. Okay, so they don't get any um, any extra will defense, but I don't think that'll matter at the moment. Okay, so would you but use use the force of twelve? Twelve, right? Okay, call out those dice rolls, boys. We so are now to... I'm spinning a force point, which would drop me to four to give everyone six extra HP, no, except are, for me. These are phantom points. These are phantom points. These okay. are you take you take all of your damage from these first before you touch your health. And do they retract at yep. the end of the battle? At the end of it's, combat, yeah. They are removed at the end of combat. Okay. Gotcha. So that was just my. You swift did this action. before for us. Uh, yeah, this, this is what we're getting combat into. Was that? Was that, that was, in the? Uh, that was also in, in the, the cargo bay. Hangar bay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you I'm guys like, I remember this. I think this was awesome. the proverbial magic that Zin first said he saw when he was up in his sniping nest. It was like, what the hell's going on with this guy? And he started using his wiggling. Well, thing. no, that that was when everyone could see me, and I rushed at those stormtroopers and missed with the axe swing, and I was like screaming. Oh, okay. So um So Merrick, I have you down at twenty seven, and you're about to get six, so that's gonna bring you up to thirty three. I already did mine. And likewise, I, I already did mine. I am mine. now at 18. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm so used to doing the Stormtrooper tweaking. You guys, we actually have these mini sh rig tier sheets. They should go automatic, so. Okay. Okay, so now, as a move action, I'm going to withdraw um, now you, out of... You used a standard action. No, I used a swift action. To use a force Swift power? actions for inspire, yeah. See, I thought withdraw, you can't do anything else. You have to concentrate on the withdraw. Um, it says you can withdraw from combat as a move action. Um, Doesn't sound right, because then everybody would just shoot and then withdraw and get... Well, I, no, but I think it forfeits your attack that round. Yeah. Um, but he used a power, which is kind of like... Yeah, it's a tough one. Well, I'm reading it, and I'm not seeing anything about not being allowed to attack. Or the, the, the bonuses attack. in all the other games for withdrawal was you're forfeiting attack to get away safely. Right, if you throw up, a which I do understand, yeah, but I'm no, I'm like I literally have the rule book right up. I'll toss it in the D twenty chat because maybe I'm just not seeing it. But no, you only can't withdraw if more than uh, if you must move more than one square to escape the threatened area. You can't withdraw if you must move more. So basically, if to move through two threatened areas, you can't withdraw. But as long as there's only one, you're good. By the sounds of it, they've kind of combined their five foot act, five foot step into the withdraw. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, I would still, because just because something is not said doesn't mean it's implied somewhere else in the book. But yes, I, I will rule in favor of the player because quite literally now without that. Oh, step, the penalty is your speed. Yeah, you only get half your speed. That's what the penalty yeah. is. You get half your speed and you're restricted as to when you can pull it off. So if there's two people threatening you, you can't. Is that what it is? Oh, no. If you have to you move can through withdraw two from threatened combat squares. Move action. Withdraw uh, first square. Yeah. Yeah, you have to take the shortest possible route. Uh, you have to only leave one threatened area. You can't go through a whole crowd of people. He's got to go straight back, uh, pretty much. Yeah, once you clear the threatened area, you may continue to move up to the total of half your speed. So he's got three squares total. Uh, you can okay. disengage from more than one opponent in the same action, but only if you can clear all threatened areas in your first square of movement. Yeah, no, he's Which good. I can. So lay it on us. So going to shove, do a quick back step, mm -hmm. side step, mm -hmm. and sidestep again okay 
Now to clear this up, just so that we're cool, you could totally have done the withdrawal first and then while free, possibly, you know. But I don't think I would have been in range. Uh, I, I still would have, though. Okay. Well, thanks for the honesty. Uh, for now, I'll allow it. If it was obviously, if it was Pathfinder or anything else, I wouldn't contest it at all. But like, no, it yeah, doesn't. It does make sense. Only... They, they kibosh the five foot step. How do you get it back? Oh, it looks like they, like Jay said, they laid it into the withdrawal action as their you know, yeah. half ass compromise. That's fine. Well, okay. and I think to be honest, they were trying to take that aspect out of the game, the five foot step, because it is a little bit of a powerful tool, like. Well, it was to keep players it kept because once you stack up on a um, monster, you just sit there and whack away like those video games where everybody just lines up and just goes left foot steps, left foot, right foot. Uh, it kind of allowed some slow shimmying a rotation of both monster and player within a combat. But all the players did with it was instead of like moving around or getting a better position, they were just kind of like, ha ha, I step back and then use my bow and shoot you in the face and ha, I do it again, you know. But after Lord of the Rings came out and everyone saw Legola shooting in combat, no one cared anymore about Five Footsteps. Also, the Star Wars Saga Edition was a sort of a prototype for setting up 4th Edition D&D, where they tried a bunch of stuff to see how it was received, and then sort of solidified 4th Edition is my understanding. Anyway, Poser, if you are finished, sir, anything else? Um, can I shoot? You can take another it? Swift? No, uh, I was going to take a... Is it a standard action or a full round to, um, like, prep an attack? Uh, like, it's, it's, I, I want like... It's a standard action because you're still allowed to move while making ready actions. Okay. Then, yeah, I want to ready, ready an action to use force grip if one of the guys walks around the corner into my line of sight. Okay. Now, when you ready an action, though, that is your turn. That's, like, the only thing you can do. Because instead of going, you ready to go. You just did, like, two things and then go, oh, okay. no, no, well, yeah, no, that, so, that's so that, what that, that, I you was can't asking. Do. Sorry, I thought you were okay. So, swift actions to start the burn of the condition track going away, anything like that? I'm just being swift. Um, Didn't he I, swift? I thought you said that your force power thing was your swift. Yes, but you can yeah, take multiple swifts. You can stand there and take three swifts. So you get a trifecta. Yeah, so you do get a so trifecta. He still has a standard moves. action, though, doesn't he? Yes, I still have a yes. standard. Um, I don't have line of sight on anyone, so I can't use a force power yet. Um, but I actually know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, as a standard action, fight defensively. And if I choose not to make any attacks until my next turn, not even attacks of opportunity, I gain a plus five dodge bonus to my reflex defense. But you That's did. pretty cool. No, I didn't attack. I used a force power that helped teammates. There wasn't any threatening at all that turn. All right. All done? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mr. Merrick, Zin, you're on deck. Larry, hey, Zin, hey, wait, that's business to finish. We'll talk later. And I want to hit the button that closes the door. Okay. Mm. You're going to be, the door, the wall will crush you. It's a thick, <laughs> that's why people can't hear no, through I... these walls. You can know the doors does are five it, feet thick. It, does hitting the button actually require any, or is that like just something I can combine with my move action? Um, you Probably mean like, like, like drawing a weapon? No, because it has to be part of your gear. Or you're reaching out to something. So, well, what I'll, I want to do is I want to move into the comm center. And if I, ha I'll tell you what I want to do, and you tell me what I can do in okay. comparison to what I'm thinking. Right. I want to move further into the comm center, switch Slasha over to auto fire, and just unload on the, the group over here. Right. Okay. So that's that's your business, and the door still remains open because that's okay. That's three. One to shoot. Gotcha. One to move. One to switch. Or like you said, you can move, close the door, <laughs> and uh, get ready to, you know. Yeah. One second, Larry. I'll be right back. I, we have much to talk. All right. So move away. So one, Can you two. move diagonal? Yeah. Now, you can't move diagonally out of the doorway. So the first move out of the doorway right. would be straight up, right? And then if you spam the space bar, it'll show us where you're going. But I get it. One, You can get all the way over here. Like, it's pretty good. Yep, that's fine. And then I wish you just unload yeah. auto fire in this I, general vicinity. Because you're a special case, okay, I am going to say Rahal is small enough to enter that particular square, which is half a wall. You are not. There oh. you go. Okay. Fair enough? Yep. Okay. And you want to unload on these two? Auto fire. Yes. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> okay. Okay. I That's know nice. you have a fireball, uh, but do we have like uh, lasers yet in the production for the D20? Uh, I'm on it. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have like laser bolts, you know, but uh, if this helps you. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> now, what's what's really good is these, you know, this. <laughs> anyway, um, 
if you have a pro subscription with Roll20, such as myself, there are some neat screen animations of beams, bombs, bubbling, burning, burst explosions, glows, missiles, and all kinds of stuff. And then um, you can... Uh, anyway, they're all silent because I'm doing things on screen. Go ahead and roll, sir. Oh. 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 Good thing it's auto fire. Natural one. Yeah. Are there fumbles in this game? No. I know that. Not much for crit. There's not much for fumble. Okay. You go to Otter Fire, and what you thought Larry had done shooting the wall beside you, actually, like, the wall reflected the heat against the side of your gun, and it's caused it to score a bit and possibly not jam, but, you know. The spray's a little wild. Yes. But they still take half damage? Oh, uh, yes, sure because yes, because wow. even if, if, if you get over the reflex, they take full. If you get under the reflex, it um, they take half but a natural one always misses, but with your bonus of five. Because um, this might be the one time where, like, auto fighter doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, uh, 14 damage and half is seven points on these two schmoes. I think auto fire is kind of like a skill. You know, there's no natural one. It just, oh, there's your bonus. Five is five. And, you know, I mean, you're certainly shooting wildly. Anyone? Logan. There doesn't seem to be anything on non natural ones. It'll be like a basic attack talking, you know, you're 20 hits. Your one misses always forever. Yeah, I was looking on the attack on the attack section. The, the there was nothing there. They just say twenty is twenty is an auto crit. Eh? There's no confirming crits in this game. I know oh, that. Oh, wait, here, wait, here it is. If you roll a natural one on your attack roll, the attack automatically misses, no matter how high the bonus on the attack roll is. Yes, and it says attack, which means any kind of attack. So I'm sorry, Merrick. Today is not your day. And the balance of the force for the free military stuff with the switch battle where you're throwing lobbing grenades you shouldn't have owned at first level wiping out an entire bad guy squad the galaxy balances itself here and now so one very sorry no damage Merrick moving on Zin Rahal you're on deck Zin the elevator you know jostles into a movement <laughs> starts going up alrighty then so looking up is there any kind of a trap door in the ceiling um, you know, like the, the typical way to kind of... Um, yeah, there's like a maintenance hatch kind of thing. Hmm. I don't think there's going to be enough time, though. You got to climb up there, get through. If those it doors opened like... on the second level, you'd be dangling from the ceiling with that hatch open. But that's where you'd be, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. With Dr. Leth in there. No, I'm just saying, like, so many, as many turns or whatever I can give you at this point... Um, it would still, you know what I mean? You might be caught legs dangling or at least most of your body hanging out of this hatch to kind of see if you were going to try and hide, you know. Anyway, what do you wish to do? Let's see. I'm going to reach down into my utility pack, pull out a fragment grenade, pull the pin, hang on to it, and get ready to throw it through the doors when they open. Okay. Ready in action to lob grenade. Like less earlier action, ready to shoot when you see more guys in Stormtrooper armor. Yep. All right. Rahal. Um, we're going to... Find out what happens to Rahal <laughs> right after this message. Rahal, it is your turn, sir. What do you do? Excellent. Hmm. What do I do? Hmm. Uh, you closed the door, right, Merrick? Nope. You didn't close the door? Nope. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Good guy. Yeah, no, it's not okay. <laughs> well, I, I first thing I'm going to do is take a shot at this guy right here. I will not take aim. I will just shoot because I'm going to need my swift. So I shoot. Pew, pew, pew. With an attack of 17. Woohoo! I hit this red shirt right here. Wow, those damage dice. Four, eight, and a one. All over the place. Uh, 14 points Middle, of that, damage. For, for 14 for points of damage. reflex attack. I love how yep. he wrote in the night in his notes, called blam. <laughs> After his energy weapon comes up, blam Okay. The comm guys are soldier comm, imperial comm operators. They have little tags. Hi, I'm an imperial comm operator. I have this many red and blue chiclets on my shirt. And at full health, suddenly with a shot, leaning out with full house, health, taking a shot with this guy, you know, taking a shot at you. Um, you shoot him in the face, and down he goes. Woohoo! Okay, and then I am going to move across the hallway and close the door with my swift action, and that's everything I can do. Okay. 
Now, opening and closing portals is actually a move action. Oh. That's what stalled mm. him. Okay. So I can't do that. No. But you can stack well, up there so Larry doesn't get a shot on you as well. Yeah, well, <laughs> I am, I am going to do that. Well, actually, this would prevent Larry from getting a shot at you. Sure. Can I still close the door from there? Uh, next round. Okay. That's all I need up, to know. You know, move back up kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, that's that's it. Starting with, again... <laughs> Larry! <laughs> I love how you named him. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to see that. I actually gave a Stormtrooper a name. Larry? Wait, Jeff. Oh, um, I was just going to ask, would you count closing the door as activating an item? Yeah. Like, okay, well, then it's a swift action. Oh, no, it says because that, that's an item in your possession, right? Like, I pulled no, a grenade. Um, it says know. a swift action allows you to activate an item, starting a vehicle, turning on a computer, and lighting a fusion oh, lantern. Oh, okay. No, no, all right. So if you can interact with something big, then yeah, there you go, Rahul. Is, yeah, it's literally just okay, pounding totally, the door. Totally what I'm so going to do. So he goes over there and he smiles at Larry and just closes the door. Oh, I Larry, Larry, back. Larry totally wants to catch up. You know, he comes over here. Hey, guys. <laughs> You're never going to see who I shot at. You're never going to guess who I shot at a minute ago. You guys remember Mer? <laughs> yeah. All casual. He goes after, like a, like he goes a after Zinn. And college the humor, humor video. Wow. You know, no really way. Good to see him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where is he? He's shooting in the comm center. Yeah, that's Merrick. No, I mean, he, Larry's outside ready in action to shoot anybody but Merrick that comes through the door. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. The actual bad guys are quite upset. And since you completely jumped us, one guy disappeared, this big heavy guy with a big gun comes and hoses my dues and kills one. <gasps> oh my. Do I bravely step out? Yes, he actually steps over the body of his other comrade. Hardcore. And because technically there is no rebellion, it's only three months after Order 66, he steps forward and he says, Pirate insurgent scum! And shoots at you. Merrick. Yeah. <laughs> As both of them do, actually. Lieutenant Aiden. Now, we just pulled up Born Leader, and that's not for me, though. It's just for my buddies, right? I inspire them. I don't get that bonus myself. Correct. Unfortunately. And with Lieutenant Aiden's you know, awesome six... <laughs> well hey i didn't say die imperial scum i just no i call us pirates yeah. which i hope you realize opens me up for doing a pirate accent for the rest of the campaign so <laughs> there will be consequences if you do oh i hope so mean meanwhile the other guy also shoots at merrick uh with a was it plus two bonus uh plus one Oh, plus one. Sorry. So it's actually only a 20, not a 21, Merrick, but I believe that still hits you. With a plus seven? Out. Yes. Squarely in the face. Squarely in the face. 15 more points of damage, sir. Five. You only take nine Ooh. points of that. Hey, Zeus. Or, I mean, uh, if you added the temporary HP to your actual health bar, then yeah, you take Correct. all of it. So. Gotcha. Which, which we both did. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so you're square. You're going to look after that, Merrick, so it drops by itself. Got it. Okay. And again, because all doors are closed, <laughs> we don't know what everybody's <laughs> doing. Okay, so on their turn, Rahal comes up and closes the door. The bad guys are going, so I, you know, step forward as a swift action, open the door, <laughs> and shoot at Rahal around the corner. Rahal, you have cover. I do not have time to aim at you. So Sweet, your, I'll take it. What is your new reflex? My reflex would be 17 with cover. Okay, good to know. Um, anyway, Larry, Larry's coming after, coming after Mary. Sorry, actually 18 with cover. 18 with cover. Yeah. Oh, wait. Do you add your full class or is it half your class level to your reflex? Uh, it full. should be full class. All your character it levels. Is? Yeah, you have, okay, you have all cool. your levels or your armor. That's why it's 13. I'm like, this doesn't make sense. What's going on with this? And I'm like, yeah. how is that 13? It should only be 12. It's, uh, it's skills that do, uh, the half. Yes. And the AC goes directly to your, your level or your armor, but it's one or the other, not both. They don't stack. You don't get your level plus your armor. Okay. That actually is not supposed to be a 14. That's supposed to be a four. I rolled two, too many bonuses. So yeah, 10 with a six so he just shoots wildly larry the cross-eyed stormtrooper 
<laughs> Still in shock. Don't make fun of him. He's got he's got the stock <laughs> he's got he's got the stock folded so he can use the E11 blaster rifle as a pistol. He's got his helmet still in his other hand. You know, hey man, where'd you go? Comes after you, punches the helmet in the wall, open the door, and just takes a wild shot at Thrall and uh, is unsuccessful. The bad guys. Has it occurred to anyone that there's more than one elevator? Yes. There are four. Yeah. <laughs> like they can chase you. <laughs> Closing the doors is just de- delaying the inevitable. Not that you, you know, are supposed to know what they're doing, but perhaps. Do you remember watching those Looney Tune cartoons where people are running in the doors in the hallway back and forth? He runs in one and chases that. Oh, like the, Sco- the Scooby Doo. The Hanna Barbera yeah. Scooby Doo bit. Yeah. Everyone, everyone keeps crossing the same hallway. Yeah, that, that hallway does look like this hallway could count with the elevators, too. So. Is in. You said you were. You, you, you said you uh, pulled the pin on a grenade, right? Yeah, I'm he still has the clamp down. <laughs> I'm currently holding a live grenade. <laughs> then the next elevator would be a good spot for that one to explode. Uh, well, that that's what I'm going to do next round when I pull the pin on a second live grenade. Is this your lucky <laughs> grenade? No, no, my, my lucky grenade, quote-unquote, is a non-functioning uh, plasma grenade or thermal detonator. Okay. So when I have enough money to buy one, that's going to be my lucky grenade. But I've always got <laughs> so it's like having a magazine <laughs> ad. <laughs> He's got you know tucked in his yeah. pocket, like ooh. Would you actually have like the real replica dud? Okay. Yeah. So I've always got one that just never seems to work. You know, I always try to tinker with it, pick one up. But yeah, I've always got a my lucky grenade never works. <laughs> that's great. I would just love to someone walk up to you on your downtime. Hey, Zin, what are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to make this explode. And then I'll just back away slowly. <laughs> What is it, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Is it, you know, what? It's a bomb. It's in a box. It's fine. You know, pushing the box across the room. Rocket raccoon. It's, a, it's fine. Yeah. It's a bomb. That would sound like something like Merrick would do, our explosive expert. Anyway, the rest of the opponents, you cannot see what they're doing except for the last red shirt here beside Lieutenant Aiden, who shot horribly at Merrick. There's also the little red shirt guy. Or did I just do him? Did I have both of you guys shoot? No, right. Yeah, sorry, he's, he's, sorry. Not, he's yeah. the one that tagged Merrick. Yeah, one. Sorry, one tagged Merrick. One missed horribly, and they're done. And the rest of the bad guys you were unsure of, and which brings us back to Doctor Leth at the end of the round. Now you're ready in action for something to happen, so you're just kind of on hold. So is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting in the elevator. <laughs> Well, you're welcome, guys, for taking five dudes out of the fight temporarily. Yeah, right. <laughs> follow, follow me. Um, Perfect. It's a good tactic. Round... You guys run a distraction for the bulk of the forces. <laughs> we'll take out the comm center. Yeah, well, you've got Come a scout back. and a noble, and then you've got a soldier, a noble, and the Jedi. So technically the Jedi and soldier would be the ones you'd want to split to, to cover the other. But, you know, the scout's not shabby at all. So, yeah, you guys are not that bad. Anyway, poser. We're back to poser. Can I, if I'm in this square down here, can I attack this guy? Sorry, show me that again. I was zooming the board all around. Um, yes, if I'm, I'm sure in this square down here, that's like the oh, diagonal yeah. Oh, adjacent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Then I'm going to. No, move. he gets a cover bonus because you're swinging around a corner. I do get cover adjacent from you. Adjacent people don't get cover. Yeah, but they? there's. Cover doesn't apply to Malay? Oh, cover does not I... apply to. Um... Yeah, but see, it's closest guy to the cover, and that's why since we're adjacent, they're like stint. You know those um, highway medians, that, mediums that come up to like waist level, right? Like on a yeah. bridge, and the first side of soldiers that gets to it can take a knee and, and use it as cover. The guys that are further away don't get its cover. Imagine two standing either side of it, and you know, no, they're right. It, no cover for me. Okay, then I'm going to swing defensively. Which means I can take a minus two to get a plus two to my reflex. I thought it was minus four to get a plus two. Uh, nope, because I took the feet melee defense. Oh. It, w- without it, when you fight defensively, it's a minus five on your attack for a plus two. Yeah. But with melee defense, you can you can choose how far down you go yeah, up to your character level. It's like the combat the reflex same. of... Sorry, not combat reflexes. Combat expertise of the Star Wars world. No, that's very cool. We're learning so yeah. much about Poser today, our mysterious uh, guitarman. Yep. All right. So... Now, just so you guys know, I am uh, familiar with your characters, but I really do like the sort of as you get to know each other and the audience gets to know you. That's why I never talk about your powers unless you guys are exposing. All right. 11 to hit and 8 for damage. All right. Well, unfortunately, you know, we kind of hear you coming around the corner hey 
Yeah. <laughs> what's what's going on? What's he doing? Is he coming up behind me? I have awesome, you know, dancing in his little square. The reflex of an Imperial Calm guy is nothing. Well, it's not great, but it's certainly better than 11. Let's put it that way. Uh, so and that's fair. Swing, swing and a miss, but close. Unless you perhaps want to use a force point. I don't mind you burning them one way or the other. Well, I'm going to hold off on burning it's, them because oh. I have a feeling this is going to get a lot more <laughs> you're, difficult. You're going to need them for the boss fight. Oh, e exactly. <laughs> yeah, it actually says that on your elevator. It's not ground floor and like B for basement. It's second level and it's a little B in there for boss fight there, Dr. Let. So good luck with that. Well, if uh, that'd be the case, it'd be like a skull and crossbones. <laughs> if you played any like oh. <laughs> sci-fi RPGs ever. Stamping pirates everywhere. Leave it alone, man. Okay, so, Poser, you take a swing. Sorry, you moved, you've taken a swing. Are you done? Uh, I don't think I can do anything else with swift action. Oh, so, so many things you can do with swift action, but I'm not going to name them for you. Merrick, you are up. Zin, you're on deck. What do you want to do, Mr. Merrick? Sasha, Sasha, Sasha has so. failed you. Sorry. <laughs> don't be so rude. And I just kind of give that knowing uh, touch, and then I want to auto-fire again. Okay. I am in my mind. He said loving or loving and knowing touch, and the first thing that popped into my head was like he smacks it on the side. <laughs> well, in his mind, that is a loving touch. I thought he was just kind of caressing the side of the stock or the barrel or something. You know, everyone has the only. It's tough. It's tough love. It's not. Nice. <laughs> Strokes the barrel all seductively. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family show. He's he's he's, he's, he's intimidation. The, he's got the stock of the stock of the weapon is up in the shoulder, and the head is leaned down and tilted at a forty-five degree angle for the one eyeball. You know, all he has to do is sort of slowly purse his lips around the corner and just mwah, <laughs> touch the side of the gun. We don't judge; just help us win. Go, Merrick, go. No, oh, Saltinia. Oh, calling her by her long name. <laughs> Natural 20! Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> she was mad at you, but not anymore. You bring her around. Oh, Sardinia, you do good. Uh, huh. But I don't think it crits. Does auto fire crit? I don't know. I, I don't if think auto fire can it auto crit? fail, why can't it crit? Yay? Oh. Yeah, it does. Oh, well, actually, we... look up auto fire itself. I don't know if it's a, that, that never It doesn't mention anything about critting specifically. Yeah. When you roll a natural 20 on your attack, yep. the attack automatically hits. Right. Um, in addition, you score a critical hit and deal double damage. Right. And it says attack, which means any attack, just like we are pushing the one. You know, there must be balance in the galaxy. So let's go. Oh, to uh, there, okay. Hold up. Um, there is a errata on the uh, Saga Edition book. It says um, a natural 20 on an area attack roll, including auto fire weapons. Uh, automatically hits all targets within the affected area, but area attacks do not deal double damage on a crit. Ah, <laughs> cool. There you go. There we go. And the um, more you know. I, I thank you, Aiden, for your honesty, since I was totally going to have them. But um, anyway, despite non-critting, okay, Imperial Com Bob number two crumples at Lieutenant Aiden's feet, as well as what is left of our brave Lieutenant Aiden clutching at his chest. How is this possible? I was going to be promoted. And the last whisper from the guy beside <laughs> him, just shaking his head, that obviously this commander was a total ass in his career. was like, no, you weren't. And they both crumple in each other's arms. Very cool. Very cool. I wish to move up to this wall and uh, taking a uh, oh, second wind as a swift action. Yes. I wish to take one of those. Ah, uh, see? Now I see what happens. We had left on the Stormtrooper's turn, and everyone sort of waited, and... Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Rahal, you're up, sir. Rahal. Hello? Pushy to talk? Is anybody get, else getting mad here? He's moved huh. his character. Yeah. Uh, it, he's lighting up, but I'm not hearing anything. Uh, Matt, maybe try moving around your mic. Maybe the cord got disconnected or something. He um, flails around <laughs> impotently. <laughs> you know what happens. We're going to try and make this a tradition here every time someone loses a connection. Ground control to Major Tone. Hello. There he Can you is. hear oh. me now? Okay. If anything to stop exactly me from singing. 